Hi guys, welcome to Make2 and a review of a LEGO set 4918. This is a 3-in-1 set from LEGO, and this is the first of those set, the signature set, which is a helicopter. I think it's kind of a sea helicopter. This set was released in 2007 and came with 78 pieces. Uh, but most of them are pieces that you may well have lying around. I did, apart from the red bracket here and another couple of little ones. So I was able to build this myself from parts I already had, which is great to get to see some more of uh, how LEGO designs work, even at such a small scale. So I'm going to show you all three builds, but let's do obviously the main one first. This is the helicopter. I think it's done really well. You can't see the skids, the landing skids. I'm going to assume it's because they've been retracted in, uh, or the wheels have been retracted in for flight mode. And it just looks really big. You can see there's a, a gap here. I think that's kind of the open door above the cockpit at the front. Really like the comb nose or sort of the uh, rounded nose at the front. Got here, which I think is, I'm going to say is a light twin exhaust on each side, which is nicely done. That main rotor is elevated on these four one by one round tiles. I think that works really well. It both lifts it up from the canopy of the helicopter and also looks like some of the kind of mechanisms that go on underneath. At the back you have midline using some jump plates, a midline tail, and then you have a tail rotor over here which also spins around, like so. And then you've got the stabilizing bit at the rear and a light. So we've got two more as I said, there's a biplane and a jet plane. So let's check each of those out now. So here's the jet plane. It looks pretty good. <laughs> you can see the two jet engines right on the tail at the back, and then there's kind of the tail wing here in red. All the ones I've been able to find online, I'm not an expert on planes, but have the, the jet engines basically down here and the tail wing up there. But, you know, I think it looks cool as it is. The other thing is it's got a very large cockpit using that cockpit piece from the helicopter, but a jet this size would probably have passenger compartments back here. You know, a few other windows, so it's maybe a very, very small jet, maybe just big enough for one or two people. Not quite a fighter jet, but still really small. Uh, I like how they did the wings. And these little uses of red pieces there. I don't quite know what they're supposed to be, but they look cool. <laughs> I thought it's got a pretty good shape. Good use of using some offsetting with these jumper plates to get the, the tail piece going up like that. So overall it looks pretty good for a second set. And here's the third and final model, the C, well the biplane, seaplane. I call it the seaplane because of these kind of buoyancy devices at the bottom that are the only things it has for landing on. So you can imagine it skimming down and sitting on the water. It's quite a simple but clever little build at the back. They've added that little tile on you can just about manage to balance it forward, but normally it, it tips backwards as you see there. I think this works pretty well. It's a very clear what it is. It's got a nice kind of retro feel to it. You can imagine it like the, the uh, sea plane at the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark is what it makes me think about. You can see in there a little cockpit with those two transparent 1x2 plates back they have this thing, I don't quite know what that is, and then you have the tail fin and the light on top. So quite, this is actually the smallest of the three in terms of parts it uses up. Uh, it's got the most space to it, um, but you know, I think it's pretty cool. So overall I think this is a cool little set. I do think the helicopter is the best of the three, it uses all the pieces, that's definitely the one the designers originally made. And then maybe with some tweaks to that design, they were able to get the design for these other two as well. I think they both work well, both the jet plane and the biplane. I prefer the biplane. I think that what they do teach you though is that, well, one, I think LEGO designers do are given a little bit more liberties uh, about what how stable their builds need to be when they're doing alternate builds. This certainly has things that work fine. I don't think they'd be in the main model that they'd sell for a set, something that's a little bit more uh, difficult, but I think that's a great way to learn about how to put the same pieces together in a different way. And also shows you don't need to add on all the pieces in order to make something that looks pretty cool. So as I said at the beginning, this is a set that you may want to have all the parts for already. 
you don't need to do it in the same colors as the original set that's what i've done here but if you want to make a cute little plane or helicopter or jet then if you've got a whole bunch of parts lying around why not just give it a go uh, and see what you think and learn a little bit along the way well that's been it for this review i'd love to know what you think so please let me know in the comments below otherwise stick around because more lego reviews will be coming soon